Today's flashback story takes place 2-17-1988 at about one minute past midnight. It's a fatal fire that takes place in a basement apartment in a brick multi-family building at 55 East Concord Street in Boston. At this time, I was probably camped out somewhere in the vicinity of Proctor Street when the fire came in. As I started my camera rolling, a Boston fire ladder truck had just pulled in in front of me and uh, I got close to the scene and caught the first hose being put on the fire. All of the ground floor windows in these apartments in this area had bars on them. This was good for keeping uh, bad people out, but it was not good for having people escape through windows. It looked to me like Boston Fire had the fire pretty much knocked down fairly quickly, but smoke had risen through the building, and in the rear of the building uh, there were uh, doing ladder rescues. It wasn't too long after the heavy fire had been knocked down <clears throat> that Boston Fire discovered the victim inside the basement apartment. Boston Fire decided to remove the victim uh, through one of the front windows to the uh, basement apartment. So the um, great that was on the window had to be cut down. The Boston Globe had uh, written up the fire and uh, they said that it was a 35 year old male that was uh, killed in the fire and that Boston police and fire were uh, not giving out the victim's name until the next of kin were notified. A neighbor friend of the victim identified the victim as Christopher Petros. Deputy Fire Chief Paul Christian said the fire apparently started in the apartment of the victim. He also said that the um, cause of the fire was, uh, was apparently electrical. A second victim of the fire suffered smoke inhalation and was taken to Boston City Hospital. Christian said about 10 residents were forced out by the fire and that several of them had to be uh, taken off, taken out by ladder in the rear of the building. Christian estimated the damage to the building to be about $25,000. Well, anyhow, that's our flashback story for today. If you want to see the actual video of this fire, click on the link below and that'll take you right to it. Once you're there, if you want to come back to this video, click on the link beneath that one that says return. If you like these flashback videos it would be appreciated if you clicked on that little old thumbs up like button and also you might want to subscribe to the channel that way you'll be updated when new videos are loaded up. Well anyhow that's our flashback story for today. Stay safe out there. Keep the rubber side down. Remember, there's danger everywhere. And also, remember, I'll be back 